Hey you guys, just wanted to come on here and give you guys the picks for today. Um, today is the 1st of January 2024, so Happy New Year to everyone. Hope everyone has um, a great year and um, hope we can make a lot of money this year on this channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for all the support and subscribers we've gotten recently. Um, but did want to hop in here today um, because we have a lot of college football action. We have a couple bowl games. Um, we have a game coming up, um, Oregon versus Liberty, and then we have the big ones. We have Bama versus Michigan and Texas versus um, Washington. So I'm a, I'm a huge Texas fan, so hook them horns. Um, if you're a Texas fan or fan of any of these teams, definitely leave a comment. Um, but yeah, let's let's jump right into it. Um, the first pick today is going to be for the Michigan versus Alabama game. Um what we do here is called correlated betting. It's kind of the the most effective way to be uh, profitable in the long term with these apps. Um, so what we do is um, we we always want to pair a quarterback from one team with um, some res- receiving threats or receivers from um, that same team. So you can see here we have JJ McCarthy and then we have Jalen Milrow and then with McCarthy um, we have his running back to get just over a couple yards and then his receiver to go over receptions. And then um, Jalen Milrow, we have one of his receivers to go over receptions. So the idea here is like the more that these guys throw, the more that these guys, these quarterbacks throw, um, and maybe it turns into a high-scoring game, a shootout, then the receivers are going to be the ones catching these balls or getting the receiving yards um, and, and all of that. So um, you can see also with the last pick here for Michigan running back, I believe this is their backup running back, but less rushing yards. So we're always going to want more throwing, um, a higher scoring game, maybe a close game towards the end. So there's a lot of opportunities for passing and catching, and um, hopefully, you know, these these two quarterbacks can ball out. Um, and actually, you know, this is a relatively low line for them for McCarthy and, and Milrow. Um, you know, just 200 yards, not a huge deal um, for these guys. Um, the next pick is going to be for this Texas versus Washington game tonight. Like I said, I'm a UT fan, super excited about this game. And I mean, everything on paper is pointing to, pointing to it to be an extremely high scoring game. Um, we have two of the best offenses in the country and then two defenses that aren't great. Um, I know Texas's rush defense is good, but their passing defense is not as great at all. So um, I'm going to actually have two plays on this on this one. Um, the first pick here, though, is going to towards that correlation, just like I said in the last pick, but we have Penix and yours, the two quarterbacks. You can see that their line is quite a bit higher, about 100 yards higher than the last game, and that's just because of those weak defenses and um, better quarterback play. Um, and then we have um, two receivers from Washington and then one receiver from Texas. So again, like the more yards that Quinn yours is going to throw um, the more yards in theory that Xavier Worthy is going to get because some, you know out of the 283.5 yards that his line's at um, you know maybe 72 of those yards would go to Worthy right like if that if that makes sense um, that's kind of what we're going for here right and like these are two of uh, Michael Penix's best targets you know they should be in the NFL draft next year um, so the more he throws, the more he's going to get the ball to these guys. And then same thing with that last pick in the rushing yards. It's like if this is a high-scoring game, um, there's going to be more rushing or less rushing yards um, to where like you know they won't have to run the clock out. Um, and just the more throwing, the better. And to add on top of that, Texas's defense is really, really good against the run. I mean, we've seen them uh, stop really, really good running backs, such as um, that Oklahoma State running back. Um, he got completely stopped in their track. So that's the first pick today for that Texas Washington game. Um, the next pick is, like I said, we're going to have two of these picks just because I think it's a huge game, um, with really high scoring potential and, uh, great players. So same thing. We got Penix and then his two best, uh, receivers. These guys should, should go off, um, just because Texas secondary is pretty weak. And then we have Quinn Ewers, worthy again but then we're going to add JT Sanders who's their tight end um really great tight end I think this receiving total is pretty low for him um but yeah if he can get a couple catches he's really good to rack up yards so what I would do is I would maybe like split um 
your units on these two plays just because one of them could hit and the other one could maybe not hit, you know, potentially like Dylan Johnson or something could go over. And um, we, we want to get exposure to both of these plays just because I do think these totals have a really high chance of hitting. Um, I'm going to move on to under, underdog fantasy, but before I do that, uh, use code RFF in the pin comment. And what that's going to do is going to give you a free $100 matched with your prize picks account. So if you put in $100, then you'll get a free $100 from prize picks. You can start your account with $200, uh, really good deal. And then I would just put like $5 on each of these plays to try to build um, up your account. Um, and just quickly, here's the correlation tool that we use. So we do correlated betting, like I said, and I actually get this from a tool um, that uh, DFG Fantasy, I believe is the website, and I actually pay for it. And I'm just giving you guys some plays off of that slip, but you can see that the tool was uh, made in mid-August and since mid-August it's almost been up uh, 800 units so that's like a four or five month span and it's already up 800 units so you can see that this stuff really really builds up um, and does really well if you're able to take these slips and um, just consistently you know put put a low number of dollars on it but it'll consistently build up um, over and over again um, so that that's what we use here and I'm going to move on to underdog fantasy so um this should this should say underdog fantasy, but with underdog fantasy, we have the exact same promo. Um, use code RFF and you'll get a hundred dollars to your account as well. Um, but this one is for that twelve p.m. game, so get this one in right away um, because it's ten thirty my time and it this game is in an hour and a half. Um, but you can see that it's Oregon versus Liberty, and then the same thing here. We have a correlated slip, right? We have Bo Nix. Um, we have the Salter, who's the quarterback for Liberty, and then we have two players on Liberty over receiving yards, and then we have Bucky Irving going over rushing yards. Um, so this is correlated here, um, and a really good slip to get in for this noon game. So I would get this in, and uh, yeah, those are the slips for today. Use those promo codes in the comments. Um, comment if you guys have been taking the slips recently, and who your favorite teams are, who you're going for today. And uh, yeah, hope everyone has a great year and really excited. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.